To use Firebase in the recommended way, we need to install it into our application. So we'll go to our command line, make sure that you're inside your app, then you run npm install Firebase. All right, and uh, we want to install it into our application. So you use save. If you save and hit enter, it will download Firebase and install it. So which means at the end of the day, if you go to your node modules folder, you'll be able to see Firebase. All right. So uh, this might take two to five minutes for it to install, depending on the speed of your internet connection. For me, mine is a little slow, so I'll just pause this video now and come back when the installation is complete. So as you can see, uh, Firebase are completely installed. And then to be sure of the version of Firebase that you install, just type Firebase space dash dash V. It will take like a few seconds, then it will tell you uh, the version of firebase that you're running all right now the next thing we're going to do is to press ctrl c on my keyboard to terminate here so now we're going to install typings to make sure it's called typing so i'm going to try and see if typings is already installed i'll click enter then wait a little and see whether it will work mine took about 30 seconds but at the end of the day it told me that we're running typings 2.1.1 now what we're going to do is to install firebase in uh, type in so I can say type in install Firebase and we say save. So we're installing uh, the type for Firebase, assuming it doesn't already come. We're just trying to make sure that we don't make any mistakes. So we have type ins installed, we're installing Firebase into type -ins. Now this will take a few seconds. Well, mine is done and um, it has been installed. So what we're going to do now is to actually head back into our application and try and set up Firebase properly. Now, uh, we just copy this, get back to your index where you pasted what you had from Firebase. We're just going to copy exactly this. And um, go to our modules. I'm going to delete the rest of this guy. Then we go to our app. In, in SRC, we go to our app folder. We're going to minimize this. From our app folder, we go to app.module.cs. And then from there, app.module.cs, we can now uh, paste our Firebase code here at the bot at the top here. Control V on my keyboard. So, but before we do that, we have to import Firebase. The way we're importing everything here, so we have to import Firebase. All right, we're going to do import everything as Firebase, Firebase from Firebase. So this is how we import Firebase that we installed from our command line. And as you can see, the underline, red underline one in here is gone. Now we want to make this variable a, a constant. So we don't want anybody accidentally re redefining it uh, somewhere in our app because this will stay the same throughout the app. So I will call it export const and that's it so the next place we'll have to do do the next thing we have to do is to uh, well copy this any page we want to use firebase in our application we we'll have to import it like this all right so we'll go to our app.components uh, this is the root component first of all we import firebase then the second thing we want to do is to make sure that we determine what the, the home page will be all right we have to figure out uh, a way to determine what the home page will be. As you can see, there is a function called root page and it's already set to home page. Like I told you, everything in Ionic is uh, is a component. And as you can see from here, this variable was imported from here. The home page class was imported from pages home home. Now let us go to pages, we went to pages, went to home. And then if we open the, the TS file, we we'll see that the, the, the class that is being exported here is called home, all right? So that's how that import works. So they are now setting the home page to that class. But then we want to uh, maybe set our home page to something else, maybe the login page. You understand what I'm saying? So what we're going to do is to uh, quickly set Firebase. When the user is logged in, the, 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 the app should redirect to the home page but if the user is not logged in the app should redirect to the login page 
all right so what we're gonna do is to go ahead with that if you're familiar with programming you see that the class was declared here for this page every page has a class declared for it this is the ending of the class and then inside is some variables were declared at the top but then inside you have a constructor so when this page first opens is the code in the constructor that will load you understand so if you want uh, below the constructor you have functions so if you want other functions to execute you have to call them from inside the constructor as you can see initialized app was called inside the constructor so this is where we're going to put a firebase code that says check whether this user is logged in if they're logged in redirect to the home page if not redirect to the login page i could simply paste it here but i want to to see where i'm getting it from so you go to firebase.com click on docs and you'll be here then you click on web because like i told you ionic uses javascript so all our code will be for the web now we're going to pan to the right and we're looking for for authentication and we're looking for getting started we're trying to check if this user is logged in so in getting started we are going to see um we we'll scroll down till we'll find it on on state changed this code right here is constantly checking if the user is logged in or logged out so for here if the user is logged in as you can see user is signed in we can do something but if the user is not signed in we can do some other thing so we'll copy this code copy get back to our code and then our constructor right here initialize app the app once the app is initialized we'll paste our code here we don't need all this we just delete them but what we're gonna do is this is where we're gonna set the root page we can now say root page should be home if the user is logged in but if the user is not logged in we don't have to redeclare root page so um i'll just do root page equal to home then if the user is not logged in of course uh, we need to make proper reference to it this dot root page if the user is not logged in this dot root page is equal to we can now say login page but you know we've not created a login page so in the next video i want you to pause here in the next video we will create the login page all right see you in the next video